All right, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be making a wild game cooking video, and today I'm gonna be cooking raccoon. This coon here, it uh, was actually a pretty big boar coon, but I trimmed all the fat off. When you trim all the fat off, they get kind of small. So basically, I would. Could have made a video on skinning it and all that, but it's just me videotaping, so it'd be way too hard. So you, if you're going to cook one, you could watch anyone else's video on how to skin them. And then in the front armpit, in this hole, there's a gland. This one already came out. It came out when I was skinning it. There's some fat in there, though. But I have to trim that out. But there's a gland in there. And then in the ass... There's usually a gland in here. This one comes out a lot too when you're skinning it. But so there's those two glands. You want to take those out. And there's also videos on YouTube of that. And uh, yeah. But I'm gonna start out. I'm cooking it with sweet potatoes and maybe a winter squash. I did acorn squash, but uh I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. But I'm gonna start out by peeling these potatoes to line this pan with. So I'll get back to you once those are done. I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff I'm going to use. I got the coon. I got dry rub. I'm not using this. That just came with this rub. And it's more like a seasoning. So I'm going to use that to season up the coon. Got some brown sugar for the sweet potatoes. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to get this all prepped and I'll come back to you guys. All right, I'm back. I got the potatoes all cut up. I decided that's enough. I'm not going to use the squash. So I put a couple tablespoons of butter in there. And then I got, this is probably like a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. Because it's really soft. So even though it looks more, it's, it's not. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there. And that's just because I, I like my sweet potatoes like kind of candied, you know. So, got that. Now I'm going to go ahead and season up this coon. I'm actually not. A lot of guys boil their coon before they cook it. And, uh, you know, I just cook it with a lid. And that makes it... I don't know if they boil it to remove the fat or make it tender or both. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. Get it seasoned up with this this seasoning this stuff is pretty much just like a general seasoning if you read it it's got I'm trying to read the ingredients sea salt garlic salt cane sugar onion black pepper paprika red pepper celery salt so it's just like a kind of like a general seasoning i'm going to give it a little rub so Kind of like this. I'm going to go ahead and do both sides and then I'll come back with the film before I pop it in the oven. Alright, I got both sides done. I made quite a bit of a mess. I'm going to go ahead and put about a cup of water in there. Shit, this is probably like two cups. And uh, just going to put it down in the bottom. Just to keep everything nice and moist. And then in an hour I'm going to check back and Maybe add a little bit more water. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more right now. I'm going to put about put about an inch in there. So, get about an inch of water in the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and bake this at 275 for about three and a half, four hours, and then check on it. And uh, another thing, too with this coon is if you're not a hunter or trapper if you don't get them yourself you always want to make sure they leave a foot on there or uh, the head something like that just to make sure you're not getting a house cat or a possum or something like that because I hear a lot of people do that <laughs> a lot of people sell possums and shit as raccoon you know and uh, yeah so if you're not getting it yourself make sure there's a foot on there but. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. This is about as weird as I'll eat. I'll eat, uh, I've eaten beavers, 
and that's not a joke, like a sexual manner, like I've actually eaten beaver that I catch. I catch, uh, eat muskrats, and that's about it. I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna try no possum or any of that shit, or like a fox or a coyote. Coon's about the craziest. And coon's pretty good. It tastes kind of like black bear. They're very similar animals. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in. I'll come back in about two hours just to show you guys how it's looking. And then I'll come back when it's finished and I'll plate it up. But all right, see ya. All right, guys, so it's been exactly two hours. And I'm just pulling it a little bit out just so you guys can get a little peek at it. Ooh, the steam hit me in the face. But it's looking pretty good. There's definitely a lot of moisture in there, a lot of fat. Grease coming up. So, it smells really good. I'm gonna take a fork and stick it, see how tender it is. Yeah, it's still pretty tough, which is expected, you know, because it takes about four hours. So, I'm gonna put this lid back on and put her back in there. I got it at 275, and yeah. So I'll come back in four hours now when it's all done. I just want to show you guys what it looked like two hours in. All right, guys, so I'm back and it's done. The potatoes are really, really tender. And the meat is also very tender. It just peels right off. So... I'm going to go ahead and plate this up with some potatoes. And I'll show you what it what it looks like and all that. Alright, so this is the finished product. Got to give a little bit to my coon dog. Gertie! A little bit to that dog. And yeah. I like to eat it with hot sauce. Hold on, I got to... Hold the phone in my mouth because. Yeah. I like to eat it with a little bit of hot sauce. And I'll show you. It's a coon. Raccoon's greasy. But it ain't bad. A little bit greasy. Got kind of like a beef taste. Because most people who are watching this probably never had black bear. It's got like a beef taste. It's very tender this way. Didn't have to boil it. It's not dry. But I trimmed like a lot of fat off beforehand. I bet you I trimmed five or six pounds of fat off. So, yeah, if you don't... Uh, Boil it, make sure you trim trim all the fat off pretty good. Mmm. The potatoes are good. And yeah. This is like a classic soul food meal that a lot of people have never tried. You can't get this in a restaurant, you know. But it's very good. It's a highly like overlooked meat source. Cause I don't, I don't eat too many, but if I wanted, I could literally like probably go all year <laughs> just eating this around here. There is so many raccoons around here and they're so easy to get, but like I said, I don't eat it all the time. It's just like a special occasion deal, but all right, that's it. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.